YouTube, what it do is your favorite big dog man, D Money, back again with another video. See the title, you see the thumbnail, so you know what you're here for. You're trying to get manuals, you're trying to get your prestige up. This video is going to show you how to do. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. All right. So the first thing that we're going to cover, we're going to cover the manuals. Everything you need to know about manuals and how to get them. All right. So the first way to get them, we just go ahead and get this out the way, is to buy them out of the shop. So you go up into the shop. First thing that you see, I don't even know if this is still active, but disregard this. But usually what's in the shop is the super deal, which costs 300 points, but there is normally an intensive manual in here, as you can see right there. Bam. So if you got 300p laying around, which I actually do, I'm gonna hold off on it though. But you can get that intensive manual right there. All right, the next way to get an intensive manual is in the intensive shopping bag. So you go to shopping bags, go to etc. And this one right here. Now, this one, of course, still got to open up your wallet and you got to drop a lot of pee, but you have a 1% chance to get an intensive manual out of this shopping bag. If you're trying to get a position intensive manual, you have a less than 1% chance to get, an intense, get a position intensive manual. But more than likely, you're probably going to end up with crew tokens if you go up in there. So now we're going to cover all the free ways that you can get an intensive manuals. Next way to get intensive manuals is by just basically leveling up, right? So every 10 levels that you get on your profile, you get an intensive manual and some coins. And I think you get a banner for like every 20, but we just focus on the intensive manual. So every 10 levels you get an intensive manual. So as you can see right now, I'm 81. So I'll get another one once I hit level 90 and I get my final, I guess you can call it free intensive manual once I hit level 100. So the next free intensive manual that you can get out of here would be out of the events. Go here and go to your daily login screen. So every 28 days, you get a free intensive manual just for logging in. So if you don't have time to do anything else, just make sure that you log in every day. Even if you don't have time to play, actually play a game, just turn the game on, hit the X button, make sure you get to the main menu screen and then get the rewards for that and turn the game off. It'll clock your day and then on day 28, you will have an intensive manual in your mailbox. Now, those two methods are the only true free methods of getting an intensive manual. Every, every other way is gonna cost you some type of money or invest, you're gonna have to invest in this game some type of way to get an intensive manual outside of those two methods. So the next way to get an intensive manual will be out of the battle pass. So for every battle pass, you have two intensive manuals. You get the first one once you get to level 24. The next one you get once you complete all the bingo goals so once you complete all the bingo goals and you get to level 24 and the battle pass you will get two intensive manuals now don't really stress over the time frame of the battle passes they the battle pass sits around for a good little while for a month or so so you have plenty of time to complete all the goals up and so don't stress if you're not able to get the two intensive manuals within like the first week or two or anything like that they give you more than enough time to complete all these goals to where you can get those two intensive manuals out of the battle pass so don't stress it too much all right so the next intensive manual that you can get is out of the token shops and certain events so we're going to cover this one in the token shop so the one in the token shop you need 20 intensive notes to get the one out of the token shop so the intensive notes are these little black books right here now to get these little black books there's a couple of ways to get them you get those as crew awards depending on where you if you finish not your crew goals you can get a few of these as a reward you can get these and certain certain rank modes will have intensive notes as a reward it's a rare chance but you can also get these out of the fs village as a reward and with the updates to the battle pass they actually have 10 of these if you complete the battle pass out fully you also get 10 of these so so these are not as complicated to come by as they used to be. So as you can see, you can also get these by buying them with nine, 9,900 crew tokens. So if you're in one of those grinder crews, you come across the tokens like it ain't nothing, stack them up and you can buy a couple of, you can buy five of these each month. That's the most you can buy. And then like I said, once you get 20, 
go ahead and buy your intensive manual. Now, every now and then, Joy City will have an event that has an intensive manual as a reward. But the problem with those events is they normally you have to grind to some extent or invest something into the game to get that intensive manual as a reward. So normally when Joy City comes out with a stat boost event for a new character or a P6 character, there's an intensive manual as the final reward. But in order to get that intensive manual, you usually have to either get that character to a P5 or P6 level to even get that intensive manual. So basically you gotta use up intensive manuals to only get one in return. Outside of that, they'll have another event, the Bottle Cap Roulette, which I swear is one of the worst events that they put out. But that particular event will also give you an intensive manual, but it's like a less than 1% chance that you actually get it out of the Bottle Cap event. The rest of the manuals really don't matter because Joy City practically gives these away to you. So you can get a bunch of these just by doing your daily jobs. The events are given to you. You get some of these just from running around the FS Village. So these here, they just kind of give out to you. And you can buy these with, with the blue coin. So these really don't matter too much. They practically give you these. But as far as these All right, so next we're going to look at the position intensive manuals. Those are the red books. So these you can get out of the special lounge. Problem is they cost 999p per. So unless you, the easiest way to get those, like I said, open up your wallet. Go ahead and buy you a couple of these if you got it. But if you don't, the next best way to get those is in the item section. So if you go here, if you're wondering what that four out of five is, you need five intensive manuals to buy one position intensive manual. So if you get, once I get my, you see I got four out of five, so once I get my fifth one, if there is a character that I'm trying to P6, I can go ahead and get the position manual for that character. Now I know you're probably wondering, well how many intensive manuals do I need in total? You need a lot, just to sum it up. You need a lot, goddammit. <laughs> but the easy answer is, to get a character to P5, you only need three intensive manuals. To get a character to Prestige 6, you need another eight intensive manuals. So, I'm gonna show you what your screen will look like if you got a P4 character and you have everything that you need to get him to P5. So let's go to Clark. Clark is Prestige 4. Once you have everything, you'll go to the Prestige screen and it'll tell you if you have all the books that you need, which you can see, I do. It'll have a check mark under every book that I have and the whole little prestige box will be this bright piss orange, right? So if I choose the P5 Clark, I can go ahead and do so for right now, which I'm not, even though I should, because I do need to max out this three point percentage P buff, but I'm gonna hold off on that. Now, if you need a character to P6, it's a little different. So the only P6 character I have right now is Luke. So once you go to Prestige and your character is ready to P6, as you can see, the little intensive small four position manual, I would need one of the, well, she's already P6, but basically if I have one, that would be checked off and that whole little screen would be orange as well. Now, the only difference with the P6 characters is once you get them to P6 and you max them out, make sure that you level them up once you get them to P6 because I actually forgot to do this so even once you get them to P6 you still have to do the XP drinks to max them out to level 10 under that prestige after you do that when you go to prestige 6 go to your attributes so every P6 character gets 120 stat points to add to add to your character wherever you want to put them so just make sure that you go here they'll give you 120 points and put them wherever you feel you want to improve on your character's skills, right? If you don't like where you have it set up, you can always reset it. So if I feel like uh, I don't need that much, I want to take some of the speed off and I want to put it somewhere on her passing or something, just hit the reset button. You can take some of the speed off, add it to the passing or whatever stat that you feel like you want to improve on. Nothing too complicated. All right, so that'll do it for me. Those are all the ways to get intensive manuals, how to prestige and level up your character. Because Joy City don't like to really give you much. So I just want to make sure you got an efficient way of getting everything that you need to get so you can get your characters where you need to get them. But that'll do it. 
It's your boy, D-Money. Like, comment, subscribe if you got any other questions. Let me know in the comment sections. I'll answer as soon as I can. But other than that, we gone.